I am working on an oceanscape for Fish Week for our Mare month of May at Village. And I've already drawn a few ocean creatures and I did use Art Hub for Kids, which is my favorite. Um, but I wanted to show you how I would also create some more objects in here and to show overlapping. So all these objects, none of them are touching each other. None of them are in front or behind any of the other ones. So I wanted to show you how I would do that. So I'm gonna start with some coral. So here at the bottom, and I'm using crayons, but you can use pencil first and then just trace. So at the bottom here, I might do some, or seaweed, whatever you want to do. Kelp, if you will. Of course, we all like kelp. Now, I'm not coloring them in because I'm gonna paint later, but I do wanna make sure I go over my lines really hard with my crayon, because I'm gonna do a crayon resist painting. So I'm using wax crayons, oil pastels work, um, and then I'm going to paint over it, and that will, the, the, the wax from the crayon will still show up with the paint. And maybe I have a little Nemo in here. So maybe his face is poking out. Maybe that's his head. You can kind of see him back here. Looks like a bird right now. <laughs> maybe he will look more like a bird. There's his tail, but see how I am not drawing in the leaf part here. And there is some black. Or some white too, right? I like using the white because if I do paint over some of this, the white will still show up. I think I'm going to go with that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to make another jellyfish up here in the corner. And so maybe this guy is behind the tail. And then maybe stingers kind of come in around. You can make them into some fun lines. Again, make sure you made really dark pencil or crayon lines. So they really show up. I might need to go over some of these. All right. I can show some lines coming behind others like that. Kinders, we did that earlier this year. All right, now for the painting portion. So what I have is I have my tray of paint, watercolor paint, my cup of water. I have various brushes. This is a flat head brush because it has a flat top. This is a round brush because it's rounded. So I have some small ones for smaller areas, bigger ones for bigger areas. So I have my brushes there. I also have a piece of paper towel because if I have, or a sponge works too. Because if I have too much water on my brush, then I don't want to, um, I don't want to get it too wet sometimes. So here I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with my stingray. So for my watercolor, I just get water in my paint and then I soak it up and then I just start painting it in. Now, one thing that I could do is I can put, I don't know, some lines in here if I like. And when I paint over them, you'll still be able to see them, but being that it's blue, they, they'll just be really subtle. So there I've painted it in. Now, if I wanted this to be lighter, I could take my paper towel and just dab it and take some of that. Ooh, and it made a print. That's kind of neat. I think I'm going to leave that. So I'm going to come in and paint some more. Just kind of paint this whole area. Now, I do. if I do want it to be darker in some areas, I don't use as much water. 
so there you can see that I didn't use as much water there another fun thing is to get this to bleed so if I tip my paper a little bit you can see it starting to streak there and if I want to help it along maybe I'll do something like that this is called bleeding where you kind of just let the paint run into the water area and it kind of gives the streak look to it maybe I want to go in with some dark I think I'm gonna go with the smaller brush to be able to control that area a little bit more so I'm gonna use this darker blue right here maybe I want it along here and if I want it to streak So this is called wet on dry because I'm just painting right on top of the dry paper. There. Now if it's a dry brush, that means kind of the same thing, but it's less water on my brush. I might dab it onto my paper towel. And you kind of get this drier. Oop, that's not working so well. I got to take some more water off of this. But you see how it's kind of more streaked? There we go. See that? That's called dry brush because it is uh, kind of looks dried out and streaked. Then wet on wet would be. I'll do it on my jellyfish here is if I just paint water on this area and then maybe take I'm taking some purple paint and and you'll get that bleeding effect there too so I use a little bit of a different color Kind of making some stripes this isn't totally working out the way i was thinking it would let me do it this way here's a wet area and i can go right into it there see then it really bleeds and smears out watch when it hits the bottom of this water line it stops so if i want it to continue i could even Paint. Oops, see how I'm painting right on top and the, the pink is still showing. There we go. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of some different techniques. Um, let me see. So I'm going to finish painting this and then I'll post a picture for you.